And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment. With me, your host, Jonathan, once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for Sunday night's episode of Batwoman Season 2, Episode 12. Well, the wait is over, folks. We finally got to see our new Kate Kane in action, sort of. We got the premiere of um, actress Willa Days, I probably butchered, I apologize, playing our new Kate Kane, and... We see her being held captive by Black Mask and Nigma. Now, Nigma, we all know, is this woman who has this. I guess she has like the influence to, I would assume, alter people's memory or something in that vein. Because, you know, she was also doing the same thing to Alice and, of course, Ocean when they used to actually be in love with each other. Then she made them somehow forget that and then make them remember so she has some type of manipulative memory power or something or technology or whatever you want to call it she she has that kind of influence so we have kate king we finally figure out what actually happened to her she's kind of i wouldn't say disfigured she's burnt in the face she has some burn marks on her hands because of the explosion of the plane and black mass kidnapped her now black mass decided that he wants I would assume his daughter, so or maybe maybe his daughter, and now Kate Kane is now in the influence of thinking that she is the daughter of uh, Black Mask. So yep, yeah, Kate Kane's officially gone unless the team would eventually find out who she is and try to help her. She had a white mask on, so let's just call it for safety, white mask for now until they actually give her um, a crazy bad guy name. But um, yeah. While that all goes down, you have Batwoman trying to find her girlfriend, and Ocean ends up getting kidnapped after him and Alice spend the night with each other, and um, he gets kidnapped, so now Alice was out to get him back because she's secretly in love with him and doesn't want to reveal that, and so, you know, Alice is, does her own thing, but she ends up teaming up with Batwoman in this episode to try to get them both back safely because they... Because Black Mask needs both of them to finish the formula for Snake Bite, which is their new drug that they're sending off to the streets of Gotham and they just want to make more profits. So they need them to complete the formula, otherwise they, they, they just become useless. So Batwoman and of course Alice team up, they go to this creepy looking warehouse, they start, you know, throwing down, and uh, we get to see um you know, I wouldn't say trust between Batwoman and Alice. I see more of a, more of an understanding of each other. Obviously, Raya is never going to like Alice for what she did to her mother, her mother, her adopted mother. And Alice is just, you know, she's Alice. So what can you do? Then we get to see the new, you know, you know, get to see Kate Kane come out and starts throwing down with both of them. Excuse me, and then things start to happen. They start throwing down, and it looks like Batwoman's about to lose. Alice gets involved. They start throwing down. Alice and her own sister start throwing down, and then of course, um, Alice gets beat. She gets beat to the point where you know um, Kate Kane can uh, kill her. But remember, she doesn't know that she's Kate Kane. She doesn't know that that's her sister, so she has no memory of that at all. So we get to see um, Batwoman kind of resent of trying to save her because she knows that she's the woman who killed her mother. So does she help her? No. <laughs> nope. Not at all. Not even once. Nope. And then, of course, we even get to see uh, Alice confess. Oh, I remember killing your mother. I remember her name. I remember what she looked like, even though she said in the past she never did. So, And Batwoman decided to just like, Bye, I'm out. And just leave. So it does leave a lot of questions about, like, okay, what's going to happen with Kate Kane now moving forward? Is she going to be a bad guy? I would assume for the rest of the season, she will be bad to set up the third season if we get that far. I, I know they kind of greenlit it, but I'm not sure with ratings, so who knows what's going on with that. But um, it is going to be disappointing if we, doesn't, we don't get the third season and Kate Kane just remains being bad, so fingers crossed.
But overall, great first impression of seeing the new Kate Kane. Obviously, she's not playing Kate Kane, but she is the actress who is going to be playing Kate Kane moving forward. But just seeing her, you know, move and talk like a kind of like a villain. My approval, not bad for a first start, you know. She's a good actress, and I really I really liked her in Krypton. So, if you've ever seen Krypton, I think she had another show. I just can't remember the other show that I've seen her in. That She's actually a really good, gifted actress. So, you know, I, I'm not going to complain about, you know, her not really showing us what she can do. It's only the first episode. This is her debut for this episode. So, once the couple of weeks come, come around, we get to get more comfortable with her as Kate Kane. And um, it should be a lot of fun. So... Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the whole Batwoman and the new Kate Kane. What do you guys think about her? you think she has potential to be better than Ruby Rose or not? Do you guys still angry that Ruby Rose got recast? Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you very much and have a good day.